Hello my soccer universe. Let's finish it up. All the La Liga jerseys from this season, except for some third or fourth jerseys are yet unreleased, but I will do that when we go to the Champions League. Uh, the seeded team in this video is Valencia, but we'll look at them last because we're gonna go alphabetically as we did in the other videos. So if you want to see Valencia, you're gonna go all the way to the back. Anyway, but it's worth it looking at the other jerseys because they are quite some interesting ones. And we're starting with a little Basque team from Eibar. Again, Homa. Um, this one reminds me a lot of the um, Levante jersey that we've seen before. Uh, also, we have the Barcelona look in blue and red, but now the stripes are kind of fading in and out of each other, making the blue even a little bit less prominent again. It's nice what they're doing with the color, but the shirt is a mess, honestly. Uh, and then the sponsor is just plopf. And funnily enough, that's the guest, that's the gas station that I'm go going here. It's the same sponsor. That always cracks me up a little bit. Not a good look. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to say. Trying too much, achieving too little. Um, if you go with straight stripes, I probably could live with it, but not with all this fading mess, especially since it gives a lot more prominence to, to the red. Sorry, Abar, only four stars. Doesn't get better with the away jersey. Green is the away color this year in Spain. This is another green one. Very yellowish white. This is almost looks like a Norwich jersey or a Nantes jersey that then fades weirdly into a green bottom and they have the green shoulder yoke and the color that reminds me of the Adidas uh, NHL colors because there's just this uh, square here on the front. What I do like about this one that the sponsor is not messing this one up because it stays with the color. Why can't they do this on the home jersey? Uh, on the other side, the crests i know i like full color crests but here you know everything goes with it and then the, <laughs> the crest messes it in a way up i just don't like this fade and so on it's trying too much i'm sorry a bar is it better than a home jersey probably because the sponsor fits in there so I'm gonna go a little bit higher with five stars and then the third is probably the best one of these uh it takes this kind of greenish bluish aqua blue has a weird color we have the triangle inset in deep blue and then we have kind of this um, blue and red outline that looks weird sponsor actually fits this time it doesn't have a white backing so uh, that is nice that's the best of the bunch I like also the sleeve cuffs they also I mean there is a certain consistency with this jersey I like the colors I think this for away or third jersey would uh, is quite quite good um, yeah gonna give this despite the weird color seven stars another small team that made it big last year was and another Homa kit we finally getting to see Homa is of course Getafe who almost made it into the Champions League just in the last few weeks it fell apart uh, this time around they're opting for the blue jersey to be accentuated with white which I think is cool because last year with the dark I mean it also looked all right but you know the white maybe gives makes a little bit more sense especially with the white sponsor on there I actually like that one uh, what I don't like is the two triangles protruding from the neck line that we could have gotten rid of. I do like the claw marks on the side. Um, the white sleeve curves seem a little bit superfluous, to be honest. Um, decent jersey, not more than that, to be honest. So I'm gonna give this a solid five stars, mainly because of these triangles. It reminds me too much of the mid 2000s. That was not the greatest period for uh, jersey designs. The away jersey uses the same template but in orange and blue and actually makes it a little bit uh, better to look at in a way. I like this one better uh, because the claw marks and so on uh, gives more accents. Again, we have the triangles here so it will not uh, go very high but yeah, I would give this uh, six stars. It is bright, it is in your face. Uh, and the third jersey does the same thing in neon and blue. Uh, also looks nice. I don't like the sponsor in green up there. What are they doing in green here? 
other than that, decent. Five stars. It's a very average look for an average team, I have to say. No, they're not an average team. They're a great team, but kind of nondescript. Aver average in the terms of spectators and fans, maybe. Sorry, Getafe. You played an awesome season, and I hope you'll be up there again this year. Another one of those Madrid suburb teams is Leganes and they took right the page out of the Atletico Madrid 2018 book by using a stripe design where the stripes change thanks to a sponsor. On one side this is a smart way to include to make the box of the sponsor in the design. I gotta give it to them for that. On the other side I really hate it when the stripes change that way. It just looks odd beyond belief um, and then the fade it's not really a fade it looks really like this is the I mean the Atletico Madrid fade was a little bit more jagged and therefore more there was more of a gradient in here here it's just this white white noise thing it's like a splashing of waves on there it doesn't look good I really don't like a look like this I'm sorry to say sorry Leganes um, gonna give this three stars you just cannot do this. This is just no not a good look. It's not the worst offender this season though. For that we have to go to Italy in tint. Uh, here we also uh, see the um, away and the third jersey and I have to say the away jersey again green, dark green, monochromatic. Yeah, it gets a little bit boring although this is probably the brightest shade of green we have seen so far. Still, ah. Uh, you will not see many teams because green is the grass, green on the jersey, there is not much to differentiate here. I'm sorry, this is it's better than the home jersey though, but it's still four stars. Uh, I like best the purple third jersey, there's at least an interesting pattern on there and kind of some diamonds or arrows pointing up, maybe a star pattern. Still, it's not great, but I'm at least willing to give this uh, five stars. Let's move on to another um, smallish team. We have a lot of small teams here, but this one got recently promoted. And we're talking, of course, about Mallorca. I think they made it through the playoffs, which is a feat in, in itself. Umbro is equipping Mallorca. I think they're the only Umbro team in Spain at the moment. And they're getting a decent but not great jersey. I mean, uh, it reminds me of the Portugal jersey from 2016. You have the solid uh, red base and then you have a darker uh, red tone on the shoulders. And then you have even a black sleeve tree with some diamonds in there. Um, the here this shown sponsor is, of course, there will be a sponsor on there, which is in white, which is okay. It's for me the classic six star jersey. It doesn't excite me, but it's also not a bad jersey. Um, I always wondered about the crest, though, what it actually... I saw that there's probably an M and a C and the F somewhere in there, but it seems to be mirrored. It's it's one of the weirder logos out there. Uh, if you have some more insight, please explain it to me, because I don't see much of the reason behind there. The away jersey is a little bit more exciting, although it uses a similar template, but white, we have the red and then we have the shoulders, the raglan sleeves, we have with a silvery diamond pattern on there, which I actually looks quite nice. The crest is popping, uh, there will be probably a sponsor, I would assume it black on there, although red would be really nice. Um, a really strong look, I have to say, I'm gonna give this seven stars. And now we have also a third jersey and yeah, what I liked about uh, the previous one I dislike here. Black with pink. Yeah, we have the other col uh, color that everyone wants to have is of course pink. The black I like, if it was with red shoulders I would like it better. The pink, nah. Oof. Five stars is not offensive but it's also not a great one. And then we get to the last team which is of course the see the team if you like it was the number four team last year valencia who switched sponsor uh, or supplier better to puma and i gotta say that uh, when i saw valencia play the other day they are finally back with black shorts it looks good however what i don't like is we have white 
with uh, a black uh, trim, but then what does the orange collar do? Yes, it fits maybe nicely with the crest, so I can maybe excuse it a little bit, but I think black would look better here. Um, Bwin is a sponsor that I haven't seen in a while, to be honest. That was very ubiquitous in around the 2010s, but now yeah, uh, kind of making a comeback in the soccer world. Yeah, it's it's a decent jersey. It's not a great jersey, I have to say. Um, I'm going to give this six stars. I, I just don't like the orange color. However, the away jersey, that is truly awful. Um, black and then the psychedelic orangey black pattern up there where you cannot even make out the crest and the Puma logos. Ugh. That's one of the worst jerseys this uh, season. I'm gonna give this... Uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna even discuss this more. Uh, one star. I don't like orange and black as much together. I like orange better with white. This is just a mess. Absolute mess. I'm sorry, Puma. You can do much, much better here. Uh, the third jersey, though, is nice. I like the light blue uh, with the swirly camouflage pattern on there. Uh, the crest pops nicely. The sponsor is this time in full color, which also makes some sort of sense. Um, Puma cats on there, no frizz look. Um, this is my favorite Valencia jersey overall. Maybe a bong uh, out of this bunch, yes, but as an away jersey, Valencia should always wear this one here. Still decent look, I'm gonna give this seven stars. And there you have it, we've reviewed all the Liga jerseys for the 2019-2020 season. Let me know which jerseys you like. I just realized I have not dished out a 10 star rating. I was close for Atletico Madrid, but the shoulder just didn't quite work out for me. Let me know of these jerseys and all the other jerseys, which ones you liked, which ones you disliked, whether you agree with my rating or not. Give me a thumbs up, I forgot to say this for the previous videos. If you liked this video or any of the other videos, please go back, like them again. Also consider subscribing to, to my channel and yeah, I will talk to you soon with some Premier League jersey review and up until then, bye, talk soon. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.